All right. Now, to Russia and Alexei Navalny and Vladimir Putin from the Daily Mail. Anti-Putin protests spark clashes across Russia with more than 1,000 arrests, including opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who was carried away by police. A Russian monitoring group says more than 1,000 people have been arrested during anti-Putin protests as police detained opposition leader Alexei Navalny in central Moscow. Thousands of demonstrators announcing Mr. Putin's upcoming inauguration into a fourth term gathered on Sunday, Saturday in the capital's Pushkin Square. A video showed police carrying a struggling Mr. Navalny, who is Mr. Putin's most prominent foe, out of the square, carrying him by the legs and arms. Now, the funny thing is, you Americans are, who see this in the mainstream media are expected to say, oh, well, that sucks. So, what, a, what a repressive totalitarian regime they have in Russia. Putin, what a dictatorial tyrant going into his fourth term and, and, and having protesters arrested. That would never happen here in the United States, land of freedom of speech. And you go, mm, yeah, sorry, but no, worse happens here in the United States. They don't let these protests even happen in the first place with the kind of disruption and arrest we see of U.S. activists. Police in riot gear wade into the crowd on Pushkin Square and were seen grabbing some demonstrators and leading them away. A helicopter hovered overhead to monitor the crowd. The unauthorized protest was part of a day of nationwide demonstrations. Police made arrests at demonstrations in some other cities as well. News reports and social media postings at protests had attracted hundreds or more in at least 10 cities in the east and Siberia. Mr. Putin will be inaugurated on Monday for a six-year term. So, fun story good international perspective, but Putin has certainly carved out a unique role for himself. And I, anytime I cover a story like this, I have to put this in, in a little bit of perspective just to point out that Russia is not the evil empire that it used to be, if ever was. It is nowhere near on par with the American empire right now. And depending on how you want to measure it, the size of the Russian economy is between 1 30th and 1 40th the size of the United States economy. So it's no surprise that someone like Putin, even in the world of international central planners, globalists, the string pullers, the true owners of the empire of, of the U.S. dollar, of the euro, what have you, um, they, uh, Putin is able to carve out this unique role for himself as the uh, de facto dictator in Russia. By the way, also, oh, geez. Something I have a bit of weird personal experience with. A lot of a lot of you listening right now might not know that I actually had a TV show. It seems like many years ago now, 2011. Wow, seven years ago on Russia Today in Washington D.C. and was canceled for political reasons because I was covering uh, Putin fairly. Uh, I mean, I think there. There might have been some point in which they went, oh, geez, he's not just against the American government. He's against the idea of government. And we're a state-sponsored media outlet. We really shouldn't be paying for that. But uh, I was also covering Putin's uh, highly manipulated midterm elections in 2011 and had my show canceled soon after that. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube, and you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.